This is the summary of the Queen's Dolls House, a dollhouse made for Queen Mary by Lucinda Lambton. From simple one-room cottages to multi-level castles, dollhouses have long been treasured by children and adults alike. In an ever-expanding array of sizes and styles, they may be closely modeled on reality or wildly whimsical. Few, however, approach the splendor of the Royal Dollhouse on display at Windsor Castle. With running water, electricity, two working elevators, and many other delights, there can be no question that this is a dollhouse fit for a queen. This lavishly illustrated volume offers a detailed history of the creation, decoration, and furnishing of this extraordinary dollhouse. Commissioned in the 1920s for Queen Mary and designed by renowned architect Sir Edwin Lurchins, the house is a perfect scale replica of an Edwardian residence, complete in every detail. Its library boasts original works by the likes of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Thomas Hardy, and Edith Wharton. Its wine cellar is replete with tiny bottles containing thimblefuls of real vintage wine. And, naturally, its tiny residence is two pink convertibles in favor of the fleet of elegant Rolls Royce limousines housed in the miniature garage. These and hundreds of other charming features are lovingly detailed in color, with extensive use of material from the Royal Archives detailing for the first time the contributions of the artists, craftspeople, and donors involved in its creation. An imaginative tour of this smallest and grandest of aristocratic residences, which receives thousands of full-sized visitors each year, the Queen's Dolls House is full of surprises that will captivate toy collectors, miniaturists, and fans of the royal family alike. For more hobbies and home book reviews visit www.homebookmix.com.